Binocular cues are crucial for perceiving depth and distance, relying on the simultaneous use of both eyes. Unlike monocular cues that can be interpreted with just one eye, binocular cues rely on the subtle differences between the images that each eye receives. By combining these two slightly different views, our brain creates a three-dimensional perception of the world. Three key binocular cues, which are retinal disparity, accommodation, and convergence, are essential in understanding depth and spatial relationships. Hi guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we explore binocular cues. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you're up to date on all our videos. So let's get into it. Number one, retinal disparity. Retinal disparity is one of the most fundamental binocular cues. It occurs because each eye is positioned slightly apart from the other, giving each eye a different view of the world. The brain combines these two images to create depth perception. The greater the difference between the two images, the closer the object appears. When you look at an object, your left and right eyes see it from slightly different angles. The brain processes this disparity between the two views to judge how far away the object is. Objects closer to you produce a larger disparity, while those further away create less difference. For example, when you hold your finger in front of your face and close one eye at a time, the position of your finger shifts relative to the background. This shift or disparity helps your brain estimate how far away the finger is from your eyes. When the finger is closer, the disparity is larger. When it is further away, the disparity is smaller. This principle is used in 3D movies and virtual reality where images for each eye are slightly offset to create a realistic sense of depth. Number two, accommodation. Accommodation is the process by which the eye changes the shape of its lens to focus on the object at different distances. Although it is often considered a monocular cue, accommodation works together with binocular cues to help perceive depth. While it primarily involves the use of one eye, it provides additional depth information that our brain integrates with other binocular cues. When you focus on a nearby object, the eye's lens becomes thicker to bring the object into sharp focus. For distant objects, the lens flattens. The brain uses this change in lens shape to estimate the distance of the object. For example, when you're reading a book, your eyes focus on the text. The closer the book is, the thicker the lens becomes to keep the words sharp. As you move the book away, your lens flattens. While accommodation alone can tell you how far away something is, combined with retinal disparity and convergence, it creates a full sense of depth and distance. Number three, convergence. Convergence is the inward turning of the eyes when we focus on an object that is close. As objects come nearer to us, the angle at which both eyes point inward increases. The brain uses this information to judge the distance of the object. When you look at an object up close, your eyes rotate towards each other to keep the object in focus. The more your eyes converge or turn inward, the closer the object is perceived to be. This cue helps the brain understand the distance of the nearby objects based on how much your eyes converge. For example, if you are threading a needle, you naturally bring your eyes inward as you focus on the fine thread. The closer the needle gets to your eyes, the greater the degree of convergence. This eye movement helps you judge the precise distance at which to position the needle to achieve accuracy. There are various real-world applications of binocular cues. In sports like tennis, basketball and soccer, athletes rely on binocular cues to judge the distance and speed of moving objects like balls. For example, a soccer player uses retinal disparity to track a ball in the air and estimate whether it is approaching towards them or moving away. Convergence helps to judge the ball's exact distance and accommodation ensures that their eyes stay focused on it as it moves closer or further. While driving, retinal disparity and convergence are critical for safely navigating the road. When a car approaches in the rearview mirror, retinal disparity allows you to judge how close the vehicle is. At the same time, convergence helps you estimate the distance of objects like pedestrians or cyclists to ensure you have enough space to pass them safely. In virtual reality environments, depth perception is enhanced by mimicking retinal disparity and convergence. 
VR headsets present two slightly different images to each eye, creating an illusion of depth. As you move closer or farther away from virtual objects, your eyes naturally converge and accommodate to maintain focus, making the experience more immersive. For simple activities like picking up a glass of water to more complex tasks like assembling furniture, we constantly use binocular cues to judge distances. When pouring water into a glass, convergence and retinal disparity help you judge how high to tilt the pitcher while accommodation helps you focus on the glass and avoid spills. While binocular cues are crucial for depth perception, at close to medium distances, they become less effective for faraway objects. For objects farther than about 30 feet, the difference between images seen by each eye is too small to provide significant depth cues. In such cases, we rely more on monocular cues like linear perspective, relative size, and texture gradients to judge distances. In conclusion, binocular cues such as retinal disparity, accommodation, and convergence are essential for accurately perceiving depth and distance. These cues work together to provide a richer, more detailed understanding of the three-dimensional world around us. Whether you're playing sports, driving, or simply reaching for an object, binocular cues ensure that you can interact with your environment in a meaningful way. Understanding how these cues work helps us to appreciate the intricacies of the human vision and how our brains create a seamless three-dimensional experience. So that's it for this video. If you're looking for quality mental health worksheets and resources, please visit my website. The link is provided in the description box below. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you're notified when the next video comes out. As always, thanks for watching.